Hey guys, I'm just going to dive right into this. Um, and I'm going to tell you there are some things like my Halloween outfit. I'm not hiding behind a mask, guys. This message is not going to be hiding behind a mask. I'm just going to be very straightforward with everybody. Um, I need my glasses, sorry. Um, this this message and how it came about came about in prayer. But this, the message is that in the prayer, I got it a week ago. I'm going to just give you the timeline and the message together because it'll all, you'll see how it all correlates. I was in prayer, it was like five in the morning. And I saw a TV screen. I wasn't looking at my TV screen. I saw one. And the screen, up in the top corner, I haven't watched the news in a year, a year and a half, two years, maybe a long time. Just turned it off completely. I canceled the subscription to the direct TV. <clears throat> It said CNN, and it was just a regular, it was C, it said CNN, it was just a regular commentator. No big news commentator, no, none of the name, names that, that y'all know. And he said that President Trump won by a landslide. won the election by a landslide. So I'm going with that, guys, because I know it's God. I'm not going with it because of political, politics, love, hate, all that other relationship. I'm not. I'm going with what God's saying. Hear me out, okay? <clears throat> Before you, you know, jump on the bandwagon either side. Shouldn't be a side. But hear me out. And I started praying about it. And then the next day, one of the people that I follow gave a prophetic message, and I believe she's very prophetic. Um, and it said, I'm sorry, that's my tablet. I don't know why sometimes my tablet calls. But, um, and it said, her message was that there's an avalanche coming. And I was like, avalanche, landslide outpouring and they're all starting to kind of fit together hear me out guys <clears throat> and <clears throat> so then i said well landslide and then the lord started dealing with me about an old message i've had for years about landmarks and he puts landmarks in our lives so that, and I said, this is what I tell a lot of people, especially the homeless people, people that I prayed for. I'm, I'm like, well, I'll probably never see you again. But I said, this is what I pray for you, and I mean it. I tell them, I say, I'm going to pray that God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, His Word, does something so significant in your life, so detailed, so tailor made and specific. I won't be there, but God will. And you'll know through His mighty hand did it in your life. Wherever it is, it's going to be. And so, he, I was praying, it's, you know, because this went on for a couple of days, this was a war, or a week ago. I'm like, man, I think I want to really say that in a message on YouTube and listen to everybody, pretty much, and have something to say about it, good or bad, bad or good, ugly. It's just, no, God, I'm not saying that. But then he kept dealing with me and he said, it's a landmark. It's, it's going to be a landmark. He said, because the people, well, let me finish the landmark. Because we've been living under an umbrella of death. And I'll get to that in a second. But the landmark is, he said, 
what did they call Roe versus Wade? Landmark decision. He said, this is going to be, this is going to be so significant, it's going to have nothing to do with Donald Trump, nothing to do with the Republicans, nothing to do with Biden, Kamala Harris, nothing to do with anybody political. People are going to see that his hand was upon it because that landmark decision, because America is going to come out from under that umbrella. And the reason why it's going to be a landslide is because people are tired of living that life and that lie. I'm living under the umbrella of death of the abortion issue. That's just one piece of it, guys. But so when they come out to vote, people are kind of scared. They don't want to say nothing because you say something wrong, you say something about Black Lives Matter, you say something about the gay issue. I mean, I've been banned on YouTube so many times, guys, and I find they, they took half my page apart, gutted it kind of, on Jesus is alive in America. And I've asked them why, and they just, it, it's bl half of it's blank. Most of the time it comes up blank, that says, says part of it on there. They're just, man, they're just lying in plain sight. Cause they don't like what I said. No freedom of speech there, guys. So, people are tired of the lies of this pandemic. That's why I put that mask on, because I don't wear one in public, guys. And it's not because I want people to be unhealthy or want to get anybody sick or sneeze or puke on anybody or whatever. You know, I'm, I just don't. I'm not that guy. I'm not. I pray for people all the time because of the lies that are behind it. And the main lie is the abortion issue, the death issue. And people are tired of this pandemic and all the garbage is portrayed. And the reason why they don't want to start saying anything is because of the same reason why I didn't want to, because of the political upheaval. You're good, you're bad, you're ugly. If you, if you love them or, or hate them, then I get both sides, guys. Some people are drifted way over and to never, never land on either side. There shouldn't be a side. But I'm not going to get into all that because there's too many details and depths and it's just, it just can become distraction. The main focus is that people are tired of it and that's why they're going to vote. And that's why I voted for the man because my vote's really for Jesus. And let me get, I'll get to why, why I'm, it's not for the man. I'm not his biggest fan. I'll tell you why in a second. But I voted for him because of the stance against the abortion issue. Because it is death. And let me point out and may clarify the death umbrella. If you don't believe me, fine, great. I don't care if you go to church, don't go to church, believe in God, don't believe in God. Go watch a video. Pick one. One of the main actors, Bruce Willis or whomever, is going to be flying through the air, shooting people. You watch, pick a movie, 10 murders in five minutes. Pick a video game, blowing people up. There'll be hundreds of casualties in five minutes. I had to turn off some cartoons for my grandkids because because they're so, they're so young. It's like, man, Death and dismemberment, mayhem, is the, is the is 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 the day. We've lost an entire generation because of it, guys. When did all these school shootings start? They weren't around when I was a kid. Neither were video games. They just ramped and amped it up and put it on nuclear steroids, and all this media hype now. And it's all under the umbrella of the death. Why? Because the enemy's out to seek to kill, steal, and destroy. Kill everybody. Because he didn't know who God's going to use in his last days. As Joel's army. Why do you think most of us are going through some pretty heavy, heavy duty warfare and battles? The true, the true Christians, the, some of the ones that, you know, compromise and they just kind of, you know, sail and everything's peachy keen. It's peachy king because they're in, in bed with the devil. Honestly, I'm sorry. 
it's time, if you're going to claim to be a church, you better be a church or else take your sign down. It's coming down. That's what it's going to come to. But that's what's happening, going to happen with this landslide because people don't want to live under this umbrella of death anymore. This is why I'm not his biggest fan, Donald Trump's biggest fan. Because of just his Twitter, just, you know, his demeanor, just the things that he says. I'm going to, I'll give you a perfect example. The thing he said to Marco Rubio and about Jeb Bush, Jeb, Jeb Bush and all those people in the 2016 election, it wasn't really a debate. It was, but it wasn't. I teach my grandkids to act better than that. I won't put up with that. I won't tolerate that kind of behavior from them. So where's the adult in it, behavior in it? <clears throat> so I get why some people are just livid on the other side. I can, you know, if I put the shoe on the other foot, I'm like, man, really? Yeah. But then I put the shoe on the other foot and it's like, no, I don't want, I don't want to abortion to be the main focal driving point and if it's that good and if it's that easy and if it's that you know if it's people's choice you know it's like you got freedom to choose and you gonna have i want freedom to say what i want to say on facebook without them telling me it's banned barred cut off most of it is whenever i say anything about the abortion issue honestly guys a lot of it or or about their candidates or about some drugs that might actually work to stop this COVID garbage. I'm telling you guys, there is no pandemic. Proof's in the pudding. Just visited somebody in the hospital. I live in Dallas. Dallas is a pretty big town, guys. Not a small little, you know, suburb. Downtown Dallas. Not quite downtown, but I mean, downtown enough. In the heart of Dallas. Went to a hospital because I had to visit somebody. It's been had to spend several trips down, make several trips down there. Wasn't one building, guys. It wasn't one hospital, guys. It was city blocks, literally. The whole building's dedicated to the hospital. The whole building's dedicated just to cancer. It's a big, big complex, guys. And all these crazy rules. But I didn't see a morgue truck out there. I didn't see a mortuary. I didn't see a bunch of hearses. I didn't see ambulances flying in and out. I didn't see patients being wheeled. Uh, none of that. There was no pandemonium, no panic, no pandemic, no nothing. But some young punk security guard yelling at me when I walked in the wrong building that I crossed the red line. I'm like, dude, I didn't even see the red line. Or make sure you have your mask on. For what? What have they done, guys? Honestly, what have they done? I don't care. This is not a part's not a church message it's what have they done if you want to it is a it is a message but it's not what have they done what has this dr fossey character done but to try to try to destroy this country seriously let's get a grip on this reality the other reason why people are scared is because they don't want to say anything because you say the wrong thing and you literally can get killed for this Black Lives Matter or different people, you know, nobody wants to get their house burned down with them in it. So the landslide's going to come from the least expected place. I don't like the mail-in votes because all that's hokey. It's all a way to try to, it's part of one of my messages about wizards that peep and mutter. About the computers and all, look at what they do, guys. These big tech companies, man, everybody's barking about Facebook being, being censoring everybody. I put this out there that Trump's ads were censored 65 times and bid zero. I had nothing back on it because they change everything. They're, they're, they're doing all kinds of nefarious things, guys. They just aren't saying anything. It's all part of it. But you know who, who preached that message? I'm a black preacher. I sat in there for six years. And you know what? I was the only white guy there for six years. White in the walls. That was me. Me and the walls were white. I was just glad to be saved. But that was one of his messages. Within the 80s, guys. What kind of cell phones were around in the early 80s? 82 and 83. Do you remember much about the cell phones back then? So he's talking about computers. Wizards that peep and mutter. 
that's what all this mail-in vote is and all this electronic stuff is and they're just they're gathering and censoring more and more and more and more so they can twist your mind I'm not opposed to the, the, the voting and all the debates and all that other stuff. That's what made America great, guys. I am six. I'm, I'm 60 years old. I've seen a lot of presidents. A lot of them I didn't like, didn't vote for. Oh, my dad were Democrats, and my dad was a really good guy. He was kind of a hidden war hero, but he fought in Korea. But he was a Democrat. Imagine that. And he was still a good guy. Oh, imagine that. But I don't know if I, maybe I didn't say this, okay? Uh, let me clarify this. That's probably why, because I get sidetracked in my mind, because one of the battles that I'm fighting is physical, okay? I had some brain strokes about two years ago, a year and a half ago, and the doctor reported the horrible. Mild to severe brain loss. They showed me parts of my brain that did just were gone. Chunks, big, you know, it's like, okay, God, I guess I don't need that. So I get a little sidetracked. So maybe I didn't say why. Well, yeah, I did say why. Well, I'm Trump's biggest fan about the 2016 election. But so anyhow, you need to know that, that if I seem a little off kilter, it's not because I'm off. It's just that, you know, it's a pretty good battle, guys. That's okay, I'm still on the wheel. God is gracious and merciful. There's plenty of testimony in there that I've got. I just haven't got to them yet. But this is very imperative, guys, that we get this right. Put an end to the devil's plots. And the reason why I picked Halloween is because he told me to do one. And the other one is, I'm going to go back a little bit in history, not that far back. What day did all this impeachment garbage start? The real stuff where they really dug into it with the sin of Senate and started the whatever they call it, the trials or, or whatever they call it. I, you know, I'm not, I forget. You pl pl plenty of people could correct me on that one, you know, but you know what I'm talking about. What day did that start? Halloween. Well, imagine that. What day is everybody celebrating tonight? Wearing masks, suiting up. Halloween. Well, look at my look at one of my messages, guys. I don't like it. Didn't like it because I was raised American. But it's called holiday idols. Look it up. Christmas. They replaced Jesus with Santa Claus and an eight hundred dollar Christmas tree, plastic Christmas tree. Don't believe me? Go to some of these big retail stores and look at how much their trees cost. Birth of Christ, Xmas, it's just, you know, it's all about Black Friday. It's earlier and earlier. They're starting to put stuff out now. Biggest retail day, but it's all about money, just crazy stuff. Easter. Bunnies don't lay eggs, guys. Chickens do. It's a lie to begin with. Churches let out early so they can chase a bunch of Easter eggs. And give them chocolate bunnies and just crazy stuff. You know, it's not. It's, we've idolized too many things. We've idolized the spirit of death, too. That's another one of my messages out there, too, guys. It's an older one, maybe a year old. But idolize the spirit of death. And that's why no lives matter. I'm going to look at my other messages. The non essential one. Non essential. Where do you think they came from? The enemy himself, from Satan himself. To get that in our mind and our psyche and thinking we don't matter. What's the Bible say? John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Here's my shirt. I'm going to just show it to you. I don't know why I'm doing this now, but I am. I'm about to end. I thought this message was going to be short. It's not. I'm sorry. We love you guys. But and there's so much here. So, so much. But it's not political. It's not a political message. I'm not trying to politicize anything. I want you to vote. I think you should. I think it should be a, you know, my dad, like I said, my dad was a Democrat, fought in Korea. A lot of good men and women. 
either gave their lives, whether physically or just top their, their lives in the military or just, you know, police do it. There's a lot of people that do it, guys. So that we can have a better life. And so, yeah, you should be able to vote. You should be able to have the debate. You should be able to disagree with me in that realm. But in the realm of the spirit now, in the Bible now, boy, the prayer is so important. This is the last thing I'm going to end with, and there's more to it than this, but you've been dealing with me on these last days. It's going to be birthed in prayer. This move, this outpouring, I'm not going to call it a move anymore. I'm sorry. Let me take that back. This outpouring it's going to be birthed in prayer. The woman clothed to the sun and the moon, the stars, with the moon and the stars. In Revelations, I think it's 12. Birth, the whole world is going for the manifestations of the sons of God. It's going to be pr pr prayer, planning, preparation, provision. Because he wants to speak to his people. He wants to give us direction. That's the biggest key, guys. So what I'm telling you, and that's another one of my messages, and that's been out for almost two years probably, just every year and now, the 5 a.m. prayer, how important it is that we pray as a nation. And that's the last thing I'm going to say because that's in the scripture that I just read tonight, talked to you about tonight, Isaiah 56, 7 and 8. But it says, my house shall be called a house of prayer to all people. This is not, you know, hey, Donald Trump, he's a prophet, the greatest thing since Swiss cheese. I don't think so. Sorry, you Trump fans, and sorry, you Trump haters, or whatever. No, I'm not really sorry. I just want the truth to come out, guys. I just want the gospel to be preached. Um, and... <clears throat> He's at least one of the presidents that will let us. Facebook has their way and all these other, you know, there's a lot of people that are money people behind this and they don't want stuff to come out. Politicians too, a lot of them are, are pretty crooked guys. They don't want stuff to come out. Last, I'm gonna end with this. This is just natural, but not really. I don't watch the news, right? What happened to President Trump with this coronavirus? How did all of a sudden he get out? He, what is, I don't even know what he's doing right now. Kind of do, but I mean, I just I get it from YouTube and Facebook. I don't watch a lot of news because I don't want my mind to get too polluted. Why can't we take a $20 pill or even talk about it on the internet? You talk about it on Facebook and you get banned, barred, and cut up, shred up to pieces and... Man, that stuff should be illegal. Where's all these lawyers in that? Can't even say anything about it. On the social media giants, some of them. Why? Because they want you to have a $20,000 injection that they haven't even invented yet or they're still working on and they're still spending millions and billions and don't even come up with it. You got this, you know, I mean, he might be a smart guy, but he's, you know, he's... Man, he hasn't done anything good to this country, but 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 harm it. And that's Dr. Fossey. I'm just going to be point blank with you guys. Way more to it than that. If there's any truth to what he what he supposedly did over there in China, and it's a mess. Is there? Has anybody fact checked that? No, they're too busy fact checking that you talked about hydroxycodone or whatever it is. I can't remember the name of the drug. You know which one I'm talking about, guys. It instantly got banned on Facebook the next day. But yet, they can have porn sites and pedophiles on, on every corner. And child molesting and trafficking and crazy, sick stuff. Love you guys. Um, there's way, there's just too much to share. And I'm sorry if I sound a little animated. I'm not trying to be animated. I'm just, you know, want to be led by the Holy Ghost and telling you the truth. And the truth is that there's a landslide coming, a landmark decision, which is going to be stopping abortion. Look at my really, really old video from four years ago. How God sees America concerning abortion. 
American, of course. Love you guys. Um, and I don't even have to see you in the polls. I already know what's going to happen. But it's going to happen so that God can get the glory. No man. No political peace, part, puzzle, party, preacher. Too many preachers are trying to grab onto it. Everybody's going to sensationalize it. Oh, I, I prophesied this or I did that. Said this or said that. I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to be a sensational guy, guys. I look like I'm a sensational guy. With an old flannel shirt on and a t-shirt and Dollar Tree reading glasses and a need to shave and no hair. Man, I, I might be a poster child from CNN for what racist, I guess, because I voted for Trump. Sixty years old. I got one year of college, so I guess that makes me uneducated. Probably. But the reason why I was uneducated because I came from a very broken life. Mostly my own doing, but didn't see it that way. I alienated myself from God. Didn't know it. Life of drugs. So I was high as a kite during, during high school. I mean, literally. So yeah. I guess I fit that bill. No, I don't fit that bill, guys. Because when I got saved in 1980, and I'm 18, one day I'm listening to Led Zeppelin, Leonard Skinner, The Who was my favorite band. And the next, I'm listening to five hours worth of gospel, black gospel music. And then spent nine years total, but six years in an all-black church. And in Dallas, in a really rich area, and it was a poor black church. Guys, I'm not making this up. Preston, Spring Valley, I was literally the to probably the token white guy, honestly. But I was just glad to be saved, guys. You know, the story's too long, but it's an awesome story. It was an awesome pastor. I, I mean, I learned a lot. So holiness, I just learned a lot. It was a great time in my life, actually. So no, I'm not prejudiced. No, I'm not this poster child. And maybe I fit, maybe I, the details fit the poster, but I don't. <clears throat> Sorry. Love you guys. Um, cause, cause Jesus is who I meant, whose image I am. Love you. Talk to you soon. And God loves you. Jesus loves you. The Holy Ghost loves you. And his word will reinforce that, the living word. See you.